Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating it. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control here, Parvati, not the gun. Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life, and you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near-molten sal tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me, just so. Hips square, lean forward a little. It's just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay, we'll try again later. You'll get it, I promise. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? I wouldn't say my parents disowned me, strictly speaking. But before they died, they accused me of thoughtlessly abandoning them. I couldn't understand it. I was only trying to make them proud by becoming a better vessel for the plan, to feel the joy they felt. I was so certain my potential was wasted as a laborer, and was willing to risk everything just to prove to them that they were wrong. I was lost, misguided. Clyde's got a crew of his own, huh? Good for him. Did you want to ask me something? I know, I know. Clyde comes off rougher than Mantisaur Hyde. He's a good guy, though. Just gotta get to know him. Yeah, I'm still not over that. You'd think a grown man would know how to let go of his past. But I guess I'm just not there yet. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm starting to feel the same way. Got the feeling he was looking down his nose at me. At both of us. Maybe we should go have a word with Trask. Get to the bottom of all this. Yeah, boss? Captain, I've been thinking. Something about this Harlow guy isn't on the up and up. Yeah, but I usually mean it as a compliment. The way Harlow was leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels off. Good. That makes two of us. Something on your mind? Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Do you know what's happening on Terra One? Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade Company. Sounded dire. They call it Monarch now. It's supposed to be a real health 
warlords drumming up marauder squads, blood running in the streets, all kinds of shit. So it went about as well as everybody expected. Yep, complete fucking fiasco. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Some townships have asked Halcyon News to make a statement regarding rumors of food shortages. You mind? Trying to have a moment here. Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. Yeah, well, you got reason to mistrust Harlow. He's a surly git, but he's devious. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Please, just make it quick. That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back, before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution, something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. So, Clyde sent Trask the same message he sent me. What's the problem? Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with the fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Appreciate it. No offense meant, just been a long day is all. So then I told him, oh, ha ha ha, that tickles, how odd. No, don't desist, I think I might like it. Further data collection is required for accurate assessment. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error, refill printer paper. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Goodbye. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain.
I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Former wife. And if you so much as hurt a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? You've got good instincts, then. You were right not to trust Harlow. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You can't be serious. I've known the guy for years. Yeah, that's about how I reacted when I found out. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. I squandered my chance. If I were a more patient man, I might have confronted Harlow, evidence in hand. But I got in his face, and we came to blows. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Because he's for sale, anything the board can buy, the board will buy, and that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Take it you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? I don't know that you should be listening to those cereals with Felix. They give you funny ideas about human mechanical relationships that I, I it's mine. Come see Sam? Is sweet of you? Here, I was just leaving. Battery levels are fully charged. Thank you. Customer, Sam, merciless on germs. Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure cereal with him. 
It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Whoever has been in the shower for the past 40 minutes, I am shutting off the hot water now. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. I'm not sure what to think right now. You told me to be suspicious, but I never imagined Clyde would stoop to informing for the establishment. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. What did I tell you? Harlow's down with the man stick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Take a page out of my rule book. Don't trust anyone. Then it's easy. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. This is why I hate metaphors. Look, I see a lot of people, inside and out. When you get down to it, we're all made of the same stuff. Once you accept that, nothing much surprises you. Well, let me know how that works out for you. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? You're right. The point is that self-interest is like self-pleasure. No one wants to admit it, but everyone has a hand in it. And speaking of uncomfortable conversations, there's something I've been meaning to get around to. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. But I worked so hard! I dropped the accent, picked up a swagger, developed a taste for spacer's choice. Huh. Well, I bet they won't know the difference. I bet they'll barely recognize me. Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too? Because it would be fun? It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble, True riffraff. When they see you, they'll get it. Come on, I didn't leave home and become a pirate because I enjoy making responsible decisions. Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis on a leash. That'd make a real impression. 
great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. That's the idea. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without 10 people signing off first. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Yeah, well, we all learn sometime, don't we? I finally got tired of spending my hard-won skills straightening noses and firming up chins. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. That's what I've been saying. Got my sights on you. What's the word? Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face.
How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor, and I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Here they come. <laughs> That's the last of them. Watch this! More where that came from! Best with the best. Heads up, jackass. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. But you know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. What a mess! What a mess! Something on your mind? What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Obviously not. And better for Felix to know that now rather than become the next Trask. Hard for them to get a knife in your back that way. People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion.
sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? <laughs> and here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? <laughs> 